guys, it's me. It's been a while since we've watched some 90 Day Fiance. I'm like, what's Big Ed up to these days? Y'all remember Big Ed, right? This guy, Mr. Mayonnaise, straight out the jar and into the scalp. Can I have a kiss? No, I don't know. I don't know. It's hurt. me. Ouch. Imagine flying all the way to another country. And they don't want to give you a kiss kiss. Anyways, this was like years ago. Now he's gotten himself a new girlfriend, and it's just as cringe. First date with Big Ed. I have a great surprise for you. Why don't you do a toast and I do a toast? Your sense of humor? To my sense of humor? Trying to get along? Trying to get along? Okay, that's good. I think she's pretty. He did good. Liz and I are having a good time, and I'm going for the kiss. Because I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. That's my plan. That's my plan. I got her in my hotel room. I am going in for the kiss, the first opportunity I get. You know, these can't not be awkward because you literally have a camera person sitting in front of you, recording you on your date. So like, of course it's gonna be awkward. I'm just so nervous around you. It just took me a while to get used to your your beautiful face, but um. It took me a while to get used to you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, when you're going out with like a walking meme. I mean, who wouldn't love a face like that? Thank you for that. Um, I don't know um, how to ask you this. It's just so crazy, but can I kiss you? Don't make it weird. He asked, and she said, don't make it weird. You already made it weird. Come on, you guys have barely taken like three sips of your drink. The date just started. Like you go, let me finish my chocolate cake first. Oh, <laughs> he's going in. Ah, oh, he's making it weird. Wow. Ah, oh, he exhaled in her face. I can only imagine what that smells like. That was awesome. Oh, she went in for seconds. So oh, that's out of the way. Oh, I did what I had to do for my 90 seconds of fame. Now we can be normal. Now we will be normal. He can't be normal. Yes. My dude can't even contain himself. Next thing you know, he gonna put a blanket in his lap. <laughs> Thank you for being in my life. I can only imagine the cameraman right now. Yeah, y'all are doing great. But you have to be quiet. Your lips really taste good. Thank you, that's my Fanta flavored chapstick. <laughs> I've been waiting for that kiss for two months. So that was amazing. Two months? He has been waiting two months for a kiss. I think he deserves a round of applause for that. I'm still afraid, I'm still scared of getting my heart broken, but I'm starting to feel something from her, which I never felt before. My guy is like 60 years old. He's acting like a high schooler. Like, can I kiss you? Left or right, what side do you like? Technically, you're supposed to be closest to the door. You're right. I'm thinking this is gonna lead to something, but if it doesn't work out, I'll be heartbroken. Come on, like if I'm gonna wake up without the Glock Glock 3000, I'm gonna be heartbroken. Mm, my day night ruined. I did all of this for her and she didn't give me anything in return. Boo hoo. Like if she wants it to happen, it'll happen. Some people they're just like, oh, I did all of this for you. So you should be doing this for me. No, oh, what the? To prepare for his date. This is what he did before. Shaving his entire body. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was shaving. He's taking Nair. The hair removal with a paint roller and a paintbrush. <laughs> Call the contractor, might as well be drywall removal. And got his mother to come over and help him. I'm taking the hair off my mother, chest. Mother, put like my that. hair off. for? Because it's gross. You're a man. Personally, I like men with hair. <laughs> My dad had a lot of hair. It makes him look masculine. Okay, that's weird. My dad was hairy. <laughs> the last thing I want to think about is being attracted to anything my dad has. I don't know why you're taking off your hair. You're gonna look like a lady instead of a guy. Ah! Oh, sick burn, mother. Because the hair is the only way you could tell that he's a guy. I'm going hairless today because Liz will be seeing a lot more of me on this date and I don't want her to see a hairy little animal. So she going to see a hairless little animal. I might do go to the salon with an inspiration pick, like, <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Made me look like this. He's silky smooth. Just the hair on my back. And it's so cold. <laughs> it goes on really cold, but then once you remove it, your skin's on fire. Just don't put this stuff around your private areas. I guarantee you, you're gonna suffer. Mother 
here, don't tell me what to do. I am a grown man. Too late, it's everywhere. <laughs> How girls prepare for their date. Do their hair, makeup, pick out a new outfit. How Big Ed prepares. Mayonnaise in his hair, shaves his entire body. Because ladies don't like men, they like raw chicken. I like raw chicken. <laughs> hey, pumpkin, peach. Peaches. 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 You tasted like a peach last night. What? Oh, must have been the Bath and Body Works lotion I had on. I'm drinking coffee, you're drinking some green stuff. Matcha. Uh, what's that green stuff you got in your cup? Uh, tea? Last night was off the charts. We, um, we started snuggling. Sir, I'm gonna stop you right there before this gets demonetized. We made love all night. Ah! I don't know about you guys, but I get gross out hearing about that. What happens in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. That was great last night, by the way. Mm-hmm. B b both times. <laughs> oh, my God. It was incredible. Like, incredible. It will go down in Big Ed history as, yeah, as the event. <laughs> All I can think about is if the head and shoulder shampoo was a person, it would be this guy. I'm just hoping that every time it's going to be like that. Um, I think we're in love. How was the rest of your night? It was really good. Yeah. It was a good night. Is he a good kisser? I had to teach him how to kiss. <laughs> so. Okay, my guy is like 60 years old. You had 60 years to learn how to kiss. And he is just now learning. You know, that's not fair. Maybe until Rose, nobody told him. So he never felt the need to improve. I feel like I have to train him to do a lot of things, but we laughed about it. Oh, she gotta train him. It's like a new dog. Except he puts mayonnaise in his hair. This is kind of inconvenient, right? <laughs> The mirror, do you need more lighting? In here? No, I do my makeup like this all the time. Oh, you do on the floor? Uh huh. Oh, really? I already told you you look good without makeup. But it's a wedding. But it's a wedding. I hate when guys do this. Like, you're doing your makeup, and then they're like, but you look beautiful without makeup. Yes, I understand, but I'm still gonna do my makeup. I feel like guys do this in a very subtle way where they're like, you're taking too much time with your makeup, hurry up. You look fine without makeup. And I'm just like, are you my pores or something? Because the makeup ain't for you. Probably the first person in history to ever to be able to break out of the friend zone. Now I want Liz to be my girlfriend. You know what? I think this could work out. I think she is into him. Weird, because she is literally half of his age. She's not even 30, and he's like, 60? What's up with these dudes dating half of their age? So I'm, we might as well talk about this now, how I think we're gonna look like a couple. Mm -hmm. I would like to introduce you as my girlfriend at the wedding. So will you be my girlfriend? He's like, oh, I wanna ask her out so bad, how am I gonna do it? You know, they're gonna think we're a couple anyway, so you wanna be my girlfriend? Or nah? I think that was good. I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. That was good. I'm gonna deduct some points because I think asking out somebody is very cringe. The best way, in my opinion, you don't even ask them out. You're just like, you my girlfriend now. Or like go to a restaurant and be like, me and my girlfriend. And when I tell you, the girl will just be like, yes. Long pause and no answer. How TLC gonna do me like this? So Big Ed actually has a daughter and the daughter is going to meet his new girlfriend for the first time. Yes, I said girlfriend. Cause we are now in the girlfriend zone. Hello. Hi. Hi. Tiffany, this Tiffany. is Liz. Liz nice Beth. to meet, nice you. meet you. The hotel where we're staying is great and we have the biggest suite you've ever seen. Ugh. That was so awkward just- Okay, y'all went in a hotel room, big suite. She ain't even say nothing. Walking in and seeing my dad and Liz, it's a lot. I'm afraid for my dad to get his heart broken. Again, Rose and Liz are similar. They both have younger kids and they're both younger than me. Wait, his girlfriend is younger than his daughter. Okay, that's already weird and I can totally understand if your dad is dating somebody younger than you, like that's weird. So if she is not in a silly goofy mood, I totally understand why. Liz looks older than me. She looks rugged. Botox does wonders. Girl, that was uncalled for. She was like, ugh. Dad's new girlfriend is younger than me, but she ugly. Like that was an ugly thing to say. Also, what does it matter what your dad's girlfriend looks like? Why why do you care if she a 2 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10? I bet if he pulled a supermodel, she would have been like, Ew, gold digger. She already walked in there not liking her. And the rest of the night is gonna be like this. Silence and the occasional crunch of the free tortilla chips. I'll just break that. This is awkward. It is oh, awkward. It is it very is. awkward. Thank you. This is the first time I'm actually meeting a girlfriend. My concern is with the age gap and the fact that you are younger than me. Why are you dating somebody that's younger than your daughter? Like, that's weird. Yeah, that's on both of y'all. He's 60 dating someone 30. Maybe I watch too many of these shows, but almost every single guy that's like 50, 60, 70 years old, they're always dating somebody like half their age or younger. Because if roles were reversed, he would lose it. 
if I was dating somebody that was 54. I was telling her that you guys are like the same. I'm gonna say that weirds me out. That's just awkward as fuck. Uh, dad, bro, whoa. That makes it even more weird. Like, why would you tell your daughter, my new girlfriend, she's just like you. Ah, uh, so you are implying that you would date me? I ain't even in this room right now and I am weirded out. That is the last thing I want to hear. Like, I don't want to hear, oh yeah, my girlfriend is like you. Yeah, that's top 10 things not to say at a dinner with your girlfriend and daughter. And there he is, he said it. Always oh, saying the wrong thing. On that note, I need a drink. <laughs> Finally, I got my drink. Oh. I already knew it and anticipated that age would be her main concern. But she came in kind of scary, like attitude wise. It was definitely awkward and there was no like beating around the bush. Dang, she went straight to business. Like, waste no time with this. But, anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and did not cringe too hard. If you guys enjoyed and want more, make sure to hit that like button there. Yes! And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.